Okay, am I missing anybody? I'm a co-host. Can I share my screen? Uh, Harry. Oh, I can share my screen now. Yes. Can you see mine now? Yes. I see some turtles. So those That's a are... lovely turtle. It is. Well, I think I've got everybody at this point. You're a genius. Yeah. That too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All compliments seriously accepted. <clears throat> I think, frankly, this one is just sensational. This one. The, the one okay. looking across. Uh, the reservoir at trees in color. And then the one with all the ducks is just beautiful. Yeah. So were we thinking of adding like a slide for maybe each, you know, having a picture for each of our presentation yeah. slides? So Albert and I were gonna try to insert a picture onto each slide somehow. Yeah, I think that would be, again, some point of interest so you can, you know, so people stay interested in what they're seeing and understand the beauty of the area. I mean, Arlene, are, are you familiar with Canva? No. Software? Okay, so I'm going to recommend that you check it out. So just Google it. And okay. um, and it's a, it's an online free um, kind of uh, template for doing um, PowerPoint presentations, and it's super easy to like insert photos and copy. And um, I've used it at work a couple times, um, and I'm not a technically inclined. Um, when it comes to things like that, it was very user friendly and it looks really good. They have several templates that you can select and then you just insert photos that you want and the copy that you want to put there. And, um, you okay. know, as an old guy who's done a lot of presentations in my life to like. You're not an old really, guy. I'm 59, you know, when, if you're not an old guy at 59, when are you? Um, and I like being an old guy. I'm not complaining, but um, I, it, it it was the easiest, most effective presentations that I've ever made because it just you get to use like photos like this and insert you know as many bullet points or you know um, as much copy as you want. You can shrink and expand the photos to fit into little boxes, you know. So it might be less work for you than what the way you're trying to do it now. Okay. So it's called Canva C A N V A. Correct. Okay. I will check out Canva. Yeah. Let me well, know I mean, if when you're, you're struggling with, with it and you like it and I'll, you know, like shoot me an email or something. Maybe we can have a quick call or something. I can try to give you a little bit of, um, okay. Direction. I'm only getting like six photos on here. Am I missing some? No, there, there were. There's more. I sent more. Yeah, I well, which... some off to the side here. I don't know how to get them. Or yeah, you're looking, Harry, you're looking on the shared screen, or you're looking in your email. I don't know what I'm looking at. You're looking at what all of us are looking at. Jeff, move your little cursor around and see if Harry sees that. Are you seeing it move around now? Yeah. Yes, okay. I do. You're, so, okay. Jeff is controlling what you see. I'm okay. controlling it, Harry. I'm controlling your mind. Okay. Well, that's uh, somebody needs to Don't do that. Do that. <laughs> but over from the uh, turtle. Uh, I need a new bike. Thing and then over further, I can't see that. Yeah, it's it's um, yeah, the one is cut off. It's uh, oh, okay. That's the only one that's cut off. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're all that's seeing actually a beautiful thing. photo. Yeah. 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 All, right. all right. So. So we're going to look at the first row. There's four pictures there. Yeah, it's, I yeah. can see three. Yeah, three and a half, we'll say. Three and a half and <laughs> a, uh, three and a, a, an eighth. And, 
and so and then there's two duck pictures. Yeah. yeah. There's the yeah. there's the berm on the yeah east side, I guess. Yeah. And uh, the fall on Holyoke. Yeah. So they're all nice. Yeah, um, yeah. The other set, you did send another set that was in a different format. Let's yeah, see. they were kind of all over the place. Yeah, I'd sent two or three different times uh, as I was finding stuff uh, and finding. Yeah. Marlene, found, when you're uh, done doing this, I need to get back to my regular screen because we're looking for. Um, so I stopped sharing. For Dave Moore to show up. And I don't want to miss him when he comes. I have the participants up on my screen. So um, I'm look, I'll look for him too. I did find one photo, um, a historic photo. I think it was a postcard that was from 18, I don't know, I don't want to, maybe it was early 1900s, but very kind of cool historic photo. I'll try to forward that to you, Marlene. Take a look at Great. If it's something you want to use. Now, Marlene, you got all my uh, historic ones, didn't you? Those black yes. and white ones out of the original. Black and white ones, yeah. Yeah, it's in a bunch of those. Yeah. Okay. I have enough. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm... Uh, I would love to get a sense for people of, you know, so a mix of some old and some new and some beautiful scenery. And those are the kind of things we think we like. Oh, yeah. Probably something in uh, the different seasons as well to show people that, you know, it's not just summertime. You can walk around there or, or do whatever you can, you know, in the fall, like you got some fall photos there with the foliage, which is nice. And biking and in the winter yeah, some bike photos and stuff cross-country skiing and that kind of stuff making a snowman whatever okay might want to bear in mind that we will probably be using this for the first time in the autumn so the autumn pictures will be very um opportune if you will got it Okay, anything else on the PowerPoint presentation? No, so Albert and I are getting gonna chat tomorrow afternoon. Um, That's yeah, lovely. That, I love that photo. So, oh. yeah. I think that's everything. Hang on, one more, I think. That's it. Well, Is that those, everything? I some of those look everything. very familiar to me. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, before we get into the media <clears throat> story, I got a few things to report. Uh, one is that Jeff <clears throat> Anderson Burgos has checked and the ethics uh, office in Boston says it would be better if he did not act as our secretary for the public meetings. <clears throat> so does anybody have any ideas other than the community college where we might be able to pick somebody up to work the meetings? Hmm. To Ellen, just to clarify, this is because we have the money to pay somebody? I think we, I'll get, okay. Next part of report. The mayor promised me five that, uh, that he would try to get a $500 transfer he didn't know from where to where on the agenda for the special meeting that the city council is having tonight um it looks like he's got joe mcgivern bringing in a transfer from the mayor's office to special committee for three hundred dollars and that's probably the one for us i wrote to uh oh um Let me get rid of that. Um, I wrote to Bartley and uh, Sullivan asking them to ask that Joe bring this forward tonight and not send it to committee. 
and then speak to it so it could get passed and we get the money and can proceed. And um, Dave Bartley was kind enough to write back to me and tell me to get in touch with Joe McGivern and myself. Uh, so I did email Joe. I have not had a response. Um, that's one thing. Jeff at the same time was looking into whether or not he could be the secretary. The city has no problem, but the ethics committee seems to feel that that's not such a wonderful idea. So he said, find somebody someplace else. And I was thinking that maybe we could post it at the uh, community college once we are sure that that $300 has come through because we're not positive about it yet. But it would be nice to know what everybody thought about looking for someone <clears throat> so that one of us can go ahead and move on it as soon as we know. I, I would say posting at Holy Community College is as good as any place to, to look for somebody. And we should also, um, once we know that we can pay somebody, we should also give know the dates that we're going to be looking for that assist. Absolutely. And that, that brings me to the next point. The 21st of September, which we had thought about for the first of those meetings, is the day of the, of the preliminary uh, election. So it's not a very good date no. for us to have the meeting. And we'll have to rethink our meeting dates. Um, I reached out to Cynthia Simison, who is the editor of the Springfield Republican. And she got back to me saying she would um, assign Hohenberger to the uh, writing the story and would send a um, photographer. And she'd like to have it done on site because it would be beautiful up at the uh, reservoir. And so we'll need a couple of people up there for him to interview. So that's something we can set up as soon as we know our dates also. But it's been promised. I reached out to Dusty Christensen at the uh, Gazette. I have not heard back from him yet. I will retain my uh, position as the village nag and keep after him until I can discuss this with him. And the last thing I did was email Dave uh, Madsen, with whom I worked very closely back when we were doing The Future Begins Here. Told him what we were doing um, and that we'd love to get onto the podcast. Podcast is no longer on. He's doing a Sunday morning program of interviews of things that are of particular interest in the Valley. He thinks this is a really good topic. Apparently the date is relatively clear right now for the last Saturday morning in September, I mean, Sunday morning in September and he will get back to me as soon as he has gotten an okay on this from the program manager at the TV station. Any questions on any of that? Dave Madsen is which channel 40? Right. Yeah. Okay. GBY maybe, is that the name of it? Yeah. <clears throat> Any questions for me? No, that's good. Okay, then let's go back to Marlene's. Um, um, yes. So article. I start. I started doing an article. You know, I have no concept of how long or you know any of that kind of stuff but I thought I'd at least get some pen to paper and start thinking about it. And the idea was um, in my head where we've been appointed by the city council. This is some historical information about the reservoir, why this is important. This, you know, this is what we've done and now we want to hear from you all. But I'm not really sure, depending on when we want to use it or what this is, is this like a, I was sort of looking at this as an invitation, another way to invite people to come. Well, I think, you know, if we are going to go to the sun, for instance, 
looking for an article or the reminder, uh, those papers would not have um, writers available and we would have to send them releases. So that's where media okay. releases will come from, we'll, the need to do that. Oh, for those of us that get the Republican every Thursday, there they have that insert from, uh, I think it's that Chickabee company that uh, does a Holyoke. Uh, yeah, the reminder. Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, that's what it's yeah. called. Yeah, yeah, they usually put a pretty big articles in there, um, and they you know fill it up pretty good with photos and stuff. So, you know, it comes you know no cost in the paper. So anybody gets the Republic and every Thursday will get that. But I've noticed uh, in the ones I get every once in a while, you get one from uh, Springfield and somewhere else in Southampton. So uh, I don't know if they do that deliberately or it's a mistake when it comes in, but we don't always get the, uh, the Holyoke, uh, South Hadley uh, version of it. I think Chickabee's part of that too, probably. Holyoke, South Hadley, Chickabee maybe, or maybe just Holyoke, Chickabee, and maybe South Hadley's part of the Northampton one. Whatever, we don't always get the right one. <clears throat> Well, we will be getting an article in the Republican. Yeah, yeah. And um, so that would reach everybody. Yeah, but this comes in there and it's, I mean, you open it up and it's, you know, it's, you know, big print and big pictures and not a terrible lot of uh, content in it, but whatever, whoever they decide to give an article about, it's pretty thorough. So it's, it's uh, I think it's well worth, uh, you know, yeah. hoping to get them that as well. Yeah, I think well, that's I a good idea. very hard uh, Thursday morning to grab the reminder out of the paper and see what the editorial board and address are for them, and we can go from there. Yeah. Yeah, when I get home, I might be able uh, you know, to reach out to somebody there because I think I have a business card from somebody. Great. Okay. That would be neat. All right. So, Marlene, you the the draft that came to us is the draft that you're speaking about. Yeah, I think. I mean, in general, do you want feedback of right course. now, or do you I want mean, it any time? I mean, I just, I you know, I I said I'd put together a place to start, and so I wanted to get it done and send it out to people. So, yeah, I know. mean, in general, I think really good has a lot of great information. I think it needs a like, yeah. for lack of a better term, sexier intro like just to capture people but then i yeah. think you know your content is is really good yeah um, I'm, I'm a planner i'm good at content i'm not i'm not good with wow stuff <laughs> i can um i'll come those wow transit plan. plans you know you can try to wow people with transit plans all over the place but it doesn't actually work yeah no i think <laughs> just like the first paragraph should set use some of our like jewel of holy jewel language. right the, the, yeah, the thing about sense. like ask up say mention up front that we're going to be asking for public input you can give all the details about that later but like why should i read this article oh you want my input about this jewel of holyoke i'll 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 write a few comments and send them to you but i perfect but thank you for pulling it together it's got lots of great lots of great data for folks yeah it's Maybe a great even, uh, story yeah the, the, uh, the jewel of holyoke which is part of our uh our national park, our Holyoke National Park, mm. being the whole month, and uh, I, I think that might tie it together as well because the whole area. So, is, uh, so is how possible, would you? you know. So I, I was thinking the same thing, Harry. So I I was thinking something like you know the Holyoke, the Whiting Street Reservoir, and the entire Mount Tom area have long been a jewel of Holyoke and the surrounding area. So, yeah. I mean, but you had another term for Mount Tom. What did you just call it? Yeah, yeah. Our, our National Park. You know. Holyoke's National Park. Holyoke's National Park. I mean, it's, it's our National Park. Uh, you know, to, to really, it's, it's the, it, the whole thing is the jewel, really. Uh, but we're, since we're doing Whiting Street Reservoir, that should be the jewel we talk about, I guess. You know, in the uh, in capitals, and uh, the rest of it is shouldn't be any less diminished, really. Well, it's the jewel of Holyoke um, in an area that encompasses da 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 da, da which is Holyoke's version of a national park. Yeah, so, yeah. Somehow we can 
somebody that knows how to write well can really you know zero that in. Yeah. Um, sure. So cons consider that what I did was like the you know the the little factual stuff, and we need to make it. You know, puff it up. Yeah, you did a great job. You did. You did. It has a lot of good information in there. The super start. I think the the idea, like one of the ideas I wanted to make sure we put in there is that it's even, you know, it's got this part, it's part of a, the trail, the New England Trail and the Appalachian Mountain Club. I mean, I don't think a lot of people know that. So I think that would be of interest to people. If that was sent to us, I, I didn't, uh, Marlene, I didn't get that or I didn't open it or I didn't know about it. Uh, did you send I that out? I forwarded it to you this, yesterday. Oh, yeah, okay. yesterday I sent it. Well, I'm kind of, uh, you know, sleepy down here, so. You know, <laughs> You're uh, on vacation, Harry. It's okay. I'll have, I'll, I'll have to look. <laughs> <laughs> You're on vacation. Or have uh, one of my local secretaries here look for me. <laughs> I'm on a computer that I don't know anything about. Oh, hey, one of your secretaries, they can be our secretary for the meetings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Allison? I'm on vacation. No, this is in September. <laughs> I'm in school. <laughs> Maybe. I'll work on that. You might get three or four, five hundred dollars if you can find some money. <laughs> well, we're in three. We're in three hundred right now. Yeah, I, I said you may get three or five, but you know, if we get any money. If not, her her father will pay her. <laughs> Everybody's showing up here now. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how the city will feel about nepotism, but I'm all for it. <laughs> hey, with a rubber check. Not hardly. Now, do we want to talk further about the dates that we can have these public meetings? We should be thinking about them. When we uh, were talking about September 21st, we had also talked about October 6th, I believe, or the 9th. I lost my note. <laughs> Well, so it was the following Wednesday, okay, it's the 6th of October was another date that was okay for everybody. And I don't think we could find anything before that date where we would all be around and available. I'm, I'm not available on the 6th, but I don't know that we all have to be there. What, what, is, what is the date that we, as I'm taking minutes, the date that we're keeping from before is? Well, the date, the date that we're losing is the is 21st, 21st. Because it's the date of the preliminary election. Right. And the, the following Tuesday, the 28th or something. I think Jeff was either going to be away or you were, Marlene. No, I'm okay. Uh, September 28th. Jeff, what about you? Let me see. So the question was September 20th? 28th. 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 Uh, that looks possible for me. That would, that would mean it's two nights in a row. Is that okay for people? I, I thought we were... A Tuesday one week and a Wednesday the next week, or I don't doesn't. Oh, I I thought we so we had scheduled September 29th. Are we talking now about making it the 28th and the following? Oh no, 29th. Okay, no, I, I um I'm I'm open that whole week, so I'm good. And I'm I totally can't... confused at this point. Me too. I think Kate's just trying to capture what we uh, we have. Yeah, decided. I'm trying to get. So, so we had decided before on on 
Wednesday, the 29th. And that sounds like that day is still fine for everybody. Is that correct? Okay. Yes. With me. Yeah, I can do that day. September 29th, I'm there. Okay. So, so we have a Wednesday date set and we're just looking for another date. Correct. Now, what's this October 6th? Was that part of that too? Or is that uh, for our, our meeting? I don't have well, a... Uh... I, I think we could have the public meetings in lieu of our meetings those two weeks. Okay. And then after the second public meeting, if we even need to hold it. Okay, so October we'll 6th. get together to start compiling information and thinking about writing our report. Okay, so, so this October 6th is uh, Tuesday? No. Well, somebody can't make October 6th. Right, but the 5th is a Tuesday and that is a day we would be regularly having a meeting. So what if we had Wednesday the 29th and Tuesday the 5th? Does that suit everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right. Because it, it, it's not the same night of the week as we discussed previously. We didn't want to have it on the same night. Okay. Right. Now, do we still want to have a five o'clock meeting? I, I personally think six is better, but I don't know what others think. I'm open. Doesn't make any. Doesn't make I'm any. I'm open. Difference. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I don't really care either, honestly. Just when we think the most people will show up. How about if we try one at five and one at six? That's fine too. Um, we, are are we still? Thinking about one is an in-person meeting and one is a virtual meeting, is that still our plan? Well, nobody has suggested anything different from that. Right, of course, when we were speaking before, you know, COVID really was easing up and now it's not exactly the same, but, you know, I'm not sure what, you know, how we should consider that. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I mean, we're in, quote, substantial transmission now, and you know, in Massachusetts, so. Well, Connecticut uh, this morning is the same way, so it's, you know, it's, I think, all over. No, right. I mean, the, the whole, right. Yeah. Unless you're in Vermont, Maine, or New Hampshire, you're in substantial. So, so that means we're supposed to, you know, wear masks and, and you know, avoid indoor activities when we can. So I'm just curious, does that change? Are we being irresponsible to try to have an indoor event uh, when we don't really have to? Yeah, I, I, think, I think you're right, Jeff. I think, uh, you know, going forward, even if we had it to be in person, by that time, it everything might be shut down anyway, and we're losing, you know, the continuity of those two meetings close to each other. You know, maybe we ought to have it both just virtual and you know, that way there, I don't think there's going to be a problem. Yeah, I mean, I think we'd all like to have an in-person meeting, but I, I, I just wonder at this point if that's wise to, yeah. I would to plan to for. I with you, Jack. Yeah. I'm, right. I'm wondering like whether we can, can we set one of them up with contingencies? I think it's, it's absolutely true that it might get worse between now and then, but it also might get better um, just because of vaccination rates here. Like we may have a, a bump and then it gets better again. I, if, it would, if it's possible to set it up with two alternatives and people can, you know, be redirected somehow that it, it would be nice to do, have a public uh, in-person meeting if we can but I know we might not be able to. I, I, I agree. I'm just, so I will say I'm a little concerned about the messaging, you know, messaging two meetings, different nights, different times, you know. Yeah. I, you know, as we're thinking about messaging, just, you know, I, again, I'd like us to be able to have a public, you know, a, you know, a meeting with <laughs> actually people <laughs> that actually come to the meeting. So, but I, yeah. So. so is there is there a reason 
and there probably is, I'm not thinking of it, um, why we couldn't do something outside in person. It's a good suggestion. I mean, I, even good maybe suggestion. near the reservoir, you know, something, and again, I don't know, what are we gonna record it and, uh, and broadcast it? Then that's probably a problem, but, um, you know, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. thinking, you know, uh, you know, and I and I have not spoken with anybody about this. Um, you know, maybe maybe Wyckoff might be willing to host something outside there. You know, um, they have a really nice new patio on the back, and uh, I don't know, just an idea. We're trying to. Anytime in the last year and a half someone has asked me to get together the first thing that pops in my head is can we do it outside so that's all i'm just going from that thinking too it's a good suggestion it's a good idea why cop park's a good idea <clears throat> we're early enough in the year so that outside is is really quite possible and i wonder if um, mike hamill might uh, consider donating the use of his pavilion that sounds nice. Mike Hamill. Oh. I wonder if he might let us use the pavilion. Well, you know what is a really <clears throat> cool one is up at Hoyle Country Club too. Um, they've got a pavilion out there that is, you know, and then you're in, you're basically in, you're on Mount Tom. Um, so yeah, with, bo with both of us. Yeah. What's that? I said with both of those uh, suggestions here on Mount Tom, with Wyckoff and uh, and the uh, Country Club. Right. Yeah, both, uh, both good choices. Uh, my camel's not a bad choice either. Uh, I'm also thinking about parking. Yeah. <clears throat> Golf, uh, of course, has plenty of parking. Wyckoff. Both of them do, both of yeah. them do. Um, so, and I hope that's a problem you know that we don't have enough parking for all the people who are going to come to comment but <laughs> i'll be surprised i hope does someone who knows those folks could someone volunteer to make the outreach about it i'm i'm happy to do that um to either to both of them you know the wyckoff guys and and uh you know marty is up at um holyoke he would obviously talk to eric um, but, you know, Eric was part of this, so he might be interested in being somewhat supportive of it. And Wyckoff was too. So um, do you want me to, I'll ask in general if they would be interested in doing something like that. And then we can, if there is some interest, boil down on some details, which date and what time and, you know, what we would want there. Right. I mean, you, should, you could give them either date, Kip, you know, the 29th or the 5th. Okay. You know. And, and I suspect for the outdoor, we would want to start earlier. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, I think the thing that's nice about Holyoke is they do have that big covered pavilion. You know, Wyckoff has other advantages. Um, you know, you can basically see the water from, the, from their patio. Um, <coughs> if we get rain, of course, we get rain, probably people are going to come anyway. But you would at least be covered. We wouldn't have to cancel and we wouldn't have to move indoors, which is, I think, a real concern about being, I, I wouldn't really be really happy about sitting in a room with 50 people. Uh, and I'm fully vaccinated and all the rest of it, but still, I just think. Yep. It's, I think we're with you. Yep. All right, I'll, I got a task. I'll do that unless, Kate, you have some reason to not No, do no, I think that's great. My only question was, um, timing wise too well and if we have that if we're able to get some answers and be able to make a decision at our next meeting are we still on track for getting the information out barely okay so we just we just need to be able to call it at the next meeting i think we need to be able to make definite plans by the next meeting okay sounds like we're on track to do it though is do you want me to investigate uh, the summit group, <clears throat> or do you want to stick with Wyckoff and Canholyoke? <clears throat> I, th I think let's try the first 
Let's, let's try Wyckoff in the country club first, and then I'll, if that I'll doesn't work. I'll, I'll jump right on those two, Sue Ellen. And if there's a no out of them, then I will let you know by the end of this week, and then you can um, check into some of you as to see if, if that wouldn't work there for them. Okay. My Perfect. first choice would be Wyckoff, simply because people know where it is and how to get there. Okay. So it would be the easier of the two properties for people to arrive at. Okay. I will, I will start there. But they don't have a cover. If it rains, we're not gonna, you know, we'd have to go indoors. Um, but I will, I will start there. They might even have a tent. I don't know. They, I haven't, obviously, I haven't been up there in like two months. They, they might have an event tent out. I know they did that a few times for weddings and when they were doing live music up there. So I'll take a ride up there and I'll go talk to Pat Murphy. He was, had been very cooperative so far. Yeah. Uh, and they are, and they are doing live music now. So maybe they are. Yeah. Maybe it is out there. Yeah. Okay. And we might get rain. You know, that's the, balance right we might get rained out but i think i'd rather get rained out than get COVID. so yeah so <laughs> are we going to try to hey kip when you talk to them can you ask them if they have wi-fi sure you know for that that oh, yeah. service okay. that area you know because yeah. yep. again i we haven't talked about whether we're going to try to broadcast or right we will do well as soon as we know the answers to those things we'll also have to talk with scott about management of um, the whole Zoom thing outdoors. Mm. Well, and I'm hoping the city's account will be able to do the meetings. I don't know if my private account will handle all of that. Right. So that's something I have to look into. Right, you probably are limited with number, but you know, who knows? So just let me make sure I'm clear. Um, if we, let's just say Wyckoff works and they wanted, and they're happy to have us there and they have Wi-Fi, we're going to have like a hybrid meeting, like it's going to be Zoom and live on that um, one night. The, the uh -huh. meetings are supposed to be recorded. And frankly, uh, I think we could do it with a tape recorder. Yeah, or a phone. Um, I don't know if anybody's, well, maybe somebody has a phone that's lengthy, you know, can handle anything this long because this is gonna be a two and a half hour meeting um, if we allow people enough time to speak. Yeah. So we will have to look at the, technic, um, yeah. the technicalities right. involved uh, because it is a public <clears throat> meeting, it's not a hearing. Right, right, so we right. don't have to do anything about posting or paying for hearing notice, but we will have to be transparent oh, about the, um, the records of the meeting and I'll have to check on those. <coughs> okay, got it. So as soon as you know, yeah, let I'm me good. know and I'll go to work on I'll, finding those things out. I'll try to find out tomorrow. I'll start with Wyckoff. I'll take a ride up there and, and see if uh, Pat's available and um, whether he's interested in this or not. And, um, and if he is, I'll let you know. I'll, let, I'll send an email. I'll send it through you, Sue Ellen, and you can. And you've got the two dates. So let him, you know, if he's interested, let him choose the date. OK. OK, we will do. And that's September 29th and or October 5th. Either one, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just writing myself a note. Two. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go back to Marlene's um, start on media. Is there anything else that anybody wants to talk about right now with a release to the newspapers. Okay, then let's hold off 
and we'll have Kate and Marlene working together and I'll probably stick my two cents worth in at some point sure. uh, to get those media releases and um, if you go boxes ready so that we can send them out as soon as we have our times and our dates. And we'll be able to set up the Zoom meeting. Uh, maybe we can get one on the city, um, the city Zoom account uh, as soon as we know which date will be the outdoor meeting. And Marlene, you might want to get into that news article, the fact that um, one of the public meetings will be outdoors. Okay. And maybe by the time we actually can send it out, we'll know exactly where. But, you know, make a point of the fact that it will not be indoors. So, um, yes. People to, to come out and meet with their with other interested parties. Okay. And I go ahead and talk. I'm gonna mute me for a second. So does that mean one of these uh, is gonna be just strictly a Zoom uh, meeting? I think, yep. I think yep. the intent is to have one of them be Zoom and one to be outdoors now. Okay, okay. So, if, you know, whatever, Whatever you all want to do to that article, just send send along your you know whatever thoughts or comments, and um, I'll take you know I'll I'll make whatever changes, do whatever I need to do. Okay, I'll have to I'll have to look and see if I can find what you sent. Do I can I... always resend it, Harry. Okay. Um... <laughs> Thank you. You had sent me some information, so I'll use some of that too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that was all uh, done with my. Uh my old records and books at home. So it's all, uh, what do you call it? Uh, per, uh, cited, uh, cited information. Yeah, cited from uh, the original documents actually. Uh, and in fact, the, the part about the, uh, the chlorination of the uh, plant 1941 was actually from the uh, annual report from the uh, waterworks that I have from 1941. So that's why it said the uh, chlorination building cost 1500 whatever whatever it was yeah that's why i think i left that yellow i wasn't sure so i'm like that was really little <laughs> that came right out of, right out of their <laughs> report that i have the book my <laughs> on. wow that was really little yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we should check that number <laughs> yeah uh, yeah so and on all the rest of the stuff came off from uh, the only thing i kind of winged was the uh the 1990s when uh, they got shut down because of uh, you know the new uh, I think 48 inch line from Ty Carmody Reservoir. But, uh, yeah. that, I wasn't sure of a date there, but I know it was in the 90s somewhere. <clears throat> so I, I didn't have any firsthand information down here. So did did that mean it actually was used as a drinking water reservoir at that time? Yeah, up until 1990s, yeah, yeah, and, until uh, they that. I think it was a 40 inch line they got from Ty Carmody up to uh, the uh, in, in, in town reservoir. And when that became operational, that's when they closed the uh, uh, Whiting Street <laughs> Reservoir down. I'm not sure I said it all right in there. So I have to relook at what I, how I wrote it. No. But the date, I'm not sure. Okay. In the recent past, for most of us. Maybe all of us. <laughs> I have a suggestion, if you'd like to hear it. Of course. Um, consider posters. And if you were to get me the text, I'll make it up for you for look at. And I will put boots to ground and see that they get uh, posted at key places around the city. Okay. That's great, Albert. Thank so you. So I thought Kip had posters already. Oh, if you have posters already, that's fine. Because I don't want to do any more work and I have to. Uh, right. Did, did the, Kip, I thought, so what? I, Kip, I, you have posters? I have a draft poster. <laughs> okay. Um, we were, I was just waiting to fill in dates. Uh, 
now I'm waiting to fill in place, um, you know, that which one will be a person and which one will be it. But it, it, it's just as soon as I have the information and I'll send it to you, um, your email address has been on some of these email trains, Albert. I'll send you the poster. And um, <laughs> the only other question was someone had suggested maybe adding a photo um, to the poster. Absolutely. Um, yeah. But, you know, I, I can I'll try to play with that a little bit, see if I can get something that makes mm -hmm. sense. Um, and if I can, then I'll. Sooner, sooner can. the better, if you would. And, um, <clears throat> Marlene and I can probably take a look at a photo or two tomorrow and say, Elbert, uh, maybe this will work. And yeah. you're going to get a, you know, a, a draft anyhow to see. So, right. yeah, I'll send you the Okay. Uh, Kip, you did get the translation. I did. Thank you. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so we have it in <clears throat> Spanish and it's been cut down so that we could fit <clears throat> one poster. Small poster. Okay. Is there anything else for tonight? All right, let me let me ask a yeah. silly question. Oh. Would everybody be free next Tuesday night if we need a half an hour to just catch up on things? Sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Sue Ellen, I'm not available because I'll be at a planning board meeting, but I had one other item to just to discuss about publicity. Okay. I mean, next next week you all can move forward without me, I'm sure. Um, I'm, as I, I probably mentioned, I hope I mentioned before, I'm keeping a list of places that we can send a digital copy of our information. So if people have places that they think we should send, I mean, we're doing, pub, we're doing, We've talked about newspapers and the TV and putting up the posters, but I'm keeping a list of, you know, agencies we might want to send it to, birding groups, just all kinds of um, random, interesting, potentially interested people. And I've been doing some research about that to try to get us a wider swath of folks. So uh, send that's, me that's any, yeah, send me anything. And I know maybe, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Harry. Um, I know it may be late, but I remember in the past the uh, billing from the Helio Gas and Electric had flyers for different things. It's for, uh, you know, yeah. of mutual interest. I don't know if it's too late to do something simple in uh, in that kind of a mailing. Because that, that's, that's going to go to everybody in the city. That's a good but idea, Harry. Virtually everybody. I'm sure that would have to happen very quickly. Oh, yeah. That can be done quickly, but it's relatively costly. Oh. There's a fee for doing it. Whether Not they free? Would, <laughs> whether they would let it go for us, I don't know. But we would also have to have something printed. What about what <clears throat> social media? Like, there's Hello Holyoke, there's Holyoke Highlands, there's a couple of I mean, it's there's Mass Live. Is it on Mass Live? It, it, I would theory it would go into Mass Live if it's going to be in the with our article in the newspaper. That should just go directly into Mass Live. But if people have um, social media places they'd like it to post, that's also I'm you know keeping that on my list. So just I'll write down what people just said. But people could give me other if you have other ideas. No, you're you're right about if it goes in the paper, it's going to go on Mass Live. It's Marlene. How quickly do you need us to comment on the on the article? Um, well, realistically, as soon as the, if you guys could get me stuff by the end of the week, then um, and then you know, or by next Tuesday. Uh, so we can then insert the dates and all that kind of stuff into it as well. So, okay. you know, end of this week or first, you know, Monday or, or over the weekend would be fine. Just um, so that you can use this information, 750 to 900 words are usually the most acceptable for something that's submitted to the paper. 
rather than something they write themselves. <clears throat> yep, that's helpful. So can I just clarify for um, the, the minutes here, the group is planning to meet next Tuesday to finalize dates and we're planning to meet at five. If that's comfortable for everybody. <clears throat> you can, you'll proceed without me, but uh, whatever date you pick will be fine. Well, we're sticking with the dates. It'll be which one is where. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm saying whichever, yeah, whatever. I'm, gotcha. I don't have a, whatever gets chosen is fine. Um, when we make the flyer, can we make sure that a digital copy of it gets sent to me so that I can use that for circulation? Kip, did you get that? Speaking of that, the poster, maybe a 50 or so in Spanish. We've had it translated. Because I'm going yeah, to do the flats, Ward 1, et cetera. So we're going we're gonna to have posters in both? Or we're gonna have one poster with both one poster, sides. both sides printed. You know that kind of thing. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Over, <laughs> we're on the same page. Whatever, just a... okay. Anything else? It... Well, if there is. <clears throat> No additional business. I would accept a motion to adjourn till next Tuesday evening. Great. And Albert, you and I'll talk tomorrow at two. You got it. You're on the calendar. Okay. okay. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Okay. Have a good night. Good night. Thanks, Bye. guys. Thanks, Have fun, Harry.